In this arrangement, I added two techniques, the slap tongue or pizzicato and wind sounds. Let's start with the first flute. It has to play pizzicato all the time. So there are two ways to do that. The first way is with the lips. We call it lip pizzicato. And it goes like this. You curl your lips in and then you do. And now don't blow into the flute, but just use it for the sound. Okay, but you can imagine playing this whole piece with lip pizzicato, it's far too tiring. So luckily we have also the tongue pizzicato. And the easiest way I think to, to teach you is, or to tell you, is uh, put the tip of your tongue to your up, uh, upper lip, like this. And then try to make the same sound as with the lip pizzicato. It's a bit different, I know, but try to get as close as you can. And then do the same, so do not blow into the flute, but just make this sound above the flute. Once you get the hang of it, you can move your tongue behind the teeth and try to make the same sound. So this is the first flute and the other flutes, they have to play wind sounds all the time. Don't play too loud because it's very exhausting. You need a little bit of pressure for the high notes, but we have to play Let's try it starting from a traditional sound. This is a G and, and then push away the flute till you have the wind sound. It can feel uncomfortable to lose your traditional sound, but it's really worth it. So uh, try to do it like this. If you have difficulty with uh, getting the wind sound, just move your tongue a little bit more forward to your teeth and then play. It will definitely, definitely work then. Have fun.